Hey guys, so welcome to the video. We actually got a project bike today. Now this is a girl's bike. I don't even know the brand or name of it, uh, but it is themed as Disney's uh, Frozen uh, on this thing. So this is obviously a girl's bike and it's very small. Uh, somehow I can actually ride it, uh, which is pretty cute. Uh, but this is a bike that I actually got for free with another bike. Uh, they were just throwing it out. They put it up on Facebook. Somehow I came across it and I thought this could be a very nice project bike and you know some other kid could be riding this instead of having this go in the garbage. Now there are a few problems. I'm actually going to start with the uh, upper part here and then we're going to work our way down. So first of all the grips are pretty loose and you know they're torn apart. Uh, so we'll do something about that. Maybe tighten them up uh, because we are keeping the budget very very low. Uh, because I know that this wouldn't sell for very much so I don't want to go out and buy brand new stuff for it so the grips here are pretty messed up so we'll have to figure something out with that uh, this is okay you know everything else is okay this needs a little bit more tightening and stuff which could be done just by hand honestly because I don't really see anything uh, crazy over there uh, the tires do you know, they don't actually need more air they're actually nicely uh, pumped up chain guard here is broken and we're gonna have to take that off because it just looks bad and this is a Senko gear so we're not worried about somebody getting hurt on the coach or anything like that so this is honestly kind of garbage uh, so we'll take that off we're gonna clean up the chain loop the chain up um, we're gonna you know deal with the rust here and there a little bit basically just try to make it look pretty nice and then maybe get rid of this because this is actually rubbing on the tire and everything I don't know what it was doing, but it was making noise and it's broken and it's dirty, so we'll get rid of this. I don't think anybody would notice that if it's not here. Uh, and then we'll basically have a simple bike that just tuned everything up uh, you know, and ready to go. So part of the reason why we're doing this is because Ahmed, who's on the camera right now, he wants to learn a few things on the bikes. And this is a very simple bike. This is actually the type of bike I actually had when I was a kid. So, you know, it was very simple, just single gear and very simple to work with, not a lot of things to do, uh, but, you know, this is how you actually, you know, get to learn instead of just starting on something like that. So, you know, I think this is going to be a very good project and, you know, just to get my mind refreshed with everything and, you know, things like that. So let's actually get started. So, here we are. We have the bike, uh, you know, set on it. Now we're actually going to take the unnecessary stuff off first. Now, I actually want to show you guys what type of tools I'm using. So, first of all, this is a bike tool from, uh, I think Bike Hand is probably the name of the company. I forgot the name. I think it's Bike Hand because everywhere it says Bike Hand. But this is something I got off of Amazon, I think probably around $18, probably like six, seven years ago when I started working on bikes. This has pretty much everything you uh, can possibly think of on working on bikes, 90 something percent of things is all in here and then uh, the patch kit is here but I actually got an extra one uh, which I purchased recently uh, also tire lovers I got three in here I still got two more from uh, Pedro's uh, screwdriver which I actually have one with this I don't know where that went uh, a hex key again <laughs> there was one here I lost it I also have a bike tool here this is something you carry on you when you go bike riding so uh, in case of emergency this is basically all in one in here except for the bigger tools obviously uh, this is a chain loop which we're gonna actually use uh, because this chain is pretty messed up it's it's actually not that messed up uh, better than any of the other ones that we have here uh, it's actually not rusted or anything so we could definitely uh, clean it up and put some chain loop on it and then just you know two wrenches you know I love Milwaukee stuff so I got a Milwaukee wrench and I think this one actually came with this one. I don't know, even know at this point, but yeah, two wrenches, uh, you know, if you want to pull something. Uh, you don't have to do this, but I like to wear gloves because after you don't wear gloves and work on bikes, your hand is going to be all dirty. Um, so that is something to think about. We're going to start with taking it off first just to, you know, simplify things. very simple just take the screws off and I'm actually gonna leave the screws on these um, just so you know if in the future they want to add something to this bike 
they can without any hassle. So I'm actually now gonna close it out and I'll just Okay, classic example of a wrench. Uh, pass me a wrench, bro. So, we also have another uh, bolt underneath this. So, you're gonna have to just pull that from another end here and do this. This is why it was just spinning freely. Now, this place could be used if you're gonna use V brakes and stuff like that, which this bike doesn't come with. Um, actually doesn't come with any brakes except for the back one which is pedal if you pedal backward it's a brake that's what that is pretty cool stuff and off we go that is gone now i'm just gonna you know insert this back so it doesn't look like that um there you go now since this is a kid bike safety is very important so we're not going to play around with the safety and we're actually going to reinstall this part but this is not what we think it is so we're actually going to have to go to parts bin and grab one that actually has a strap like this one so yeah um, we want to make sure that any head of girl can ride this uh, so we're actually going to keep the seat very low and then as they learn or something um, or with their, with how free they are with it, they can definitely uh, deal with it. I don't know why there's a zip tie up, stuck up here, but there you go. Uh, this is the lowest here. Um, it actually doesn't look good. Let me put it up a little bit. We're also playing with the looks and everything, just actually, yeah, whatever it was, it was pretty good. But it wasn't tight in all the way, like properly, so we're gonna do that. So, we don't wanna tighten it up like too much, where people can't even use it just like that. So, we'll just like, you know, get to a sweet spot where we can kinda like, you know, push it in with a lot of force, but not too much force and it doesn't move or anything very good yeah that's just a seat that's good so you know that part is good now we're actually going to take this garbage off too <coughs> now for this thing what do we have oh. we have just one contact point this is literally holding this all together so we'll take this off and there you go take that out the chain is a little bit loose now if uh, yeah if it's like you know going even like a jump or something we're gonna lose a chain so what we're gonna do at this point is we're actually gonna uh, tighten this chain up now this is a good uh, example and a good way to actually know how to put good tension on the chain so Let's get to it. So what we're gonna do is we don't actually have a stand, but we you know need this up in the air. So this is a good trick if you don't have any stand to work on. Because you flip the bike upside down. This is literally how I've been working on bikes for years, and it always works. So there you go. So here we are. Now this is a guard, I believe, which we honestly don't have to take off. Uh, but we do have this wrench here that needs to get taken off now. This is I actually never seen this system before. I don't know what this is. This is probably some sort of lock. Uh, I don't honestly know. Just to prevent uh, people from tinkering with this, maybe. So we're actually gonna uh, 
it out, ratchet it out, and we're gonna, you know, unscrew this a little bit, and then we're gonna bring it down a little bit. So this is the uh, brake uh, for the back. So when you pedal backward, uh, this basically helps you brake. So we might have to adjust that too as we, you know, pull this aside. So let's get to it. So here we are. We're just gonna loosen this up a little bit. Wow, this wasn't really that tight. So this, easy? Yep. This one too. Just a little bit, not too much, right? Um, just so we can get some tension up uh, for the uh, change. So now what we're gonna do is we're actually gonna just uh, make sure this is loose and it can freely move. Uh, up and down this uh, rail that we have here uh, to hold this thing down and uh, in order to do that we also need to kind of loosen the brake so we're gonna hold on the brake on the other side and we're gonna loosen this screw up so this also moves with the entire wheel It's loose now a little bit so uh, okay it's moving now so all we're gonna do to tension the chain up is pull on the wheel right now you can prop up your feet like that and pull on the wheel like that and just feel the chain if it's tight or not so you obviously don't want the chain you know coming over the cog and then you know fall so we're just gonna pull the wheel just like that, make sure it's straight, and uh, we have a good amount of tension on the chain, right? And we're basically gonna flick our wrench here and tighten this up. Uh, I need to tighten it up all the way, just snug so it doesn't move anymore. And I'm gonna go to the other side, do the same thing, you know, while keeping a pressure on this thing. I'm going to tighten this up all the way and I'm also going to tighten this up all the way and I'm also going to tighten up my brake the rest of the way uh, it is tight there so uh, now the chain is a lot tighter uh, we are good to go with everything just you know, checking the brake there so that's also good and honestly uh, not a lot of other things left on this bike now this i believe is probably a screw or something that they're trying to hide or maybe trying to add with the theme uh trying to uh, say stay consistent with the theme but we found another spot here which has another piece of plastic i'm just gonna take it off because it doesn't go with anything anymore so okay now that we got all the garbage out of the way, I'm actually gonna keep that in case of any water going in the frame you can get out of that hole. And uh, other than that, everything looks pretty good. We can definitely uh, scrub and get these rust out, but not really worried about them. I'm also gonna check these wheels for safety, make sure they're in place properly, they don't you know, jump around or anything. So they're actually you know, pretty tight. Now, from the back part all the way up to the front part, we are done with fixing everything. Uh, now it's just the top here, and now at the stem, uh, we got this thing here. And it's probably just a lock and unlock. Yep. So there's a lock and unlock thing here. It's locked all the way, and it's kind of tightened up all the way. Uh, so I can put my foot there and try to turn it here and there try to see if it moves yeah not really so we are good with that uh, we definitely want a reflector facing front because this is a kid bike we want the kid to be visible at all time and uh, if your parents make sure that your kids have some sort of reflective stuff 
and it's what it's the best if you actually can get them some lights and stuff that uh, flicks on and off all the time that gives the most visibility uh, out on the road now this actually does have a little bit of play which means that this just needs to be tightened up a little bit yeah with this thing being used uh, it does have a little bit of play but it's nothing significant with comes in the way of the functioning of the bike. Now the grip. Now the grip is pretty bad. Um, yeah, it just comes up just like that very easily. I think there were some flaring things uh, that were here on this side. I honestly don't think you could really save these grips. Um, but then if you take them off, it doesn't really look good at the same time. Um, so we'll just leave it as is. Now if uh, it does create a problem um, and if it is requested we can definitely whoever buys this we can definitely put on you now if this is a problem for whoever buys this we can definitely put a pair of new hand grips uh, that we can easily get off of any bike shop uh, on the same day and also if this needs to be gone and they don't want this uh, what we can also do is wrap some electrical tape very tightly and nicely so it becomes a sort of a grip I think that would be the best option now this is something I will put on the Facebook ad when I actually sell it uh, if the camera see me now this is something I will put on the Facebook ad when I actually sell this and uh, so they can decide for themselves what they really want um, so this bike is ready to go oh never mind now the last step is basically cleaning up and everything uh, I'm not gonna be cleaning this up because I cleaned a lot of things yesterday uh, so for today we will just be uh, putting some lube on the bike chain uh, and then that's pretty much it now I like to use dry lube because it just finishes dry and it doesn't leave any uh, you know residues and stuff that's you know wet and sticky so So this is a single speed so we don't really have to change any gears or anything but we will basically just you know, drop some chain lube on and uh, this will basically lubricate the entire chain keep it from rusting and it will make the whole bike a lot more smoother the entire drive chain will be a lot more smoother and uh, yeah it looks like pretty good there there you go I think we're good to go I'm just gonna run it a little bit as you can see the bike um, the wheel is also not perfect it's uh, out of tune a little bit so we can also tune this up there's actually a tool um, for that now we can actually make this wheel straight and spin it very smoothly instead of wobbling back and forth this is the tool for that but you know this is a kit bike honestly this doesn't make a lot of difference it doesn't really matter that much uh, but this is something that you could also use you basically find the gauge for uh, the you know, spoke here obviously you know it's only gonna fit in one of them and then whichever basically fits you basically tighten this or loosen this um, until it you know works basically until it becomes straight like for example this is this one right see now it doesn't move so we can actually turn it left or right and then keep spinning this until the entire wheel becomes straight so that's how you use that thing but this bike i think honestly is ready to go and we will stop the work here so that was it for this video all these things that we did here is pretty much almost free and we just you know kind of tuned everything up got rid of useless things and just kind of fixed everything up so it's functional and safe for a kid to ride that's kind of what you know flipping is like you obviously don't want to make the whole bike new because that would just get you you know to lose money honestly uh, if I paid anything for this honestly that wasn't gonna be a great idea I would always pass this if I have to spend any sort of money on this because I don't know even if I will ever get to sell this if I will ever have any audience for this bike but you know it is a kid bike and it was free so I couldn't pass it and this is completely functional 
it was functional when I bought it. So, you know, all these things that I did, it just to, you know, kind of make the bike a little bit more functional and more safe and um, just a little bit better, I guess. So that was it for this video. I hope you guys liked it or learned something from it. Thank you so much for watching this video. I'll see you guys next time. Peace.